In this video we're going to look at how to draw a line graph. To draw the line graph you're going to need some equipment. You're going to need a ruler and you're going to need a pencil. Uh, perhaps you might also need a rubber in case you make a mistake, uh, but they're the main bits of equipment you're going to need. Okay, let's have a look at the typical question. Right, so we've been given some data and we've got the month, January, February, March, April, May and June. And we've got the price per litre, which is 96.1, 96.2, 97.3, 97.7, 98.3, and 99.1. So the question has asked us to show this data or show this information on a line graph. So let's do that. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just get your pencil and for a line graph, what you're gonna do is you for a line graph you always get time along the x-axis, so the horizontal axis. So as you notice, month is along the horizontal axis. And along the vertical axis is what you're looking at. So here we've got the price per litre along the vertical axis. Uh, we've labelled the horizontal axis with January, February, March, April, May, June. And notice we've got equal spaces between months. So we've got two li the little boxes across or ten of the little small boxes across for each of the months. Okay. So the first one was January 96.1. So we go to January and we go to 96.1. Let's just double check along the vertical axis what each one of the small boxes is worth. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So halfway, 95.5. So that'd be 95.1, 95.2, 95.3, 95.4, 95.5. Yep. Yeah. So each one of the small boxes is worth 0 0.1. So 96.1 would be January and 96.1 would be like that. And you put a cross there. The next one, 96.2, so February, 96.2, and put across. March, 97.3, March, 97.3. April, 97.7, so 97.7. Uh, May, 98.3, so 98.3. And finally, June 99.1. So June 99.1. So what we're going to do is we're going to then join those up with your ruler, okay? Just dot to dot. Because it's a line graph, you just join them up. So you just go like so. And you just be very careful to make sure that you join them up nice and accurately. Okay, and you just do one at a time. Don't be tempted to do more than one at a time. And there you go. Okay, so there we've drawn a line graph. Okay, so that's how you draw a line graph. Let's look at a typical question based on that. So a typical question would be, between which two months did the price per litre increase the most? So we're looking for the biggest increase. So if you're looking for the biggest increase in a line graph, what you want to do is look for the steepest line segment. So here, 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 and here are the line segments. The steepest one I can clearly see is between these two points. So that's between... February and March. So the, the biggest increase was between February and March. If you want to double check with the table, feel free. So if you have a look, it increased between January and February by 0 0.1, between February and March by 1.1, between March and April of 0.4, April to May uh, 0 0.6, and between May and June 0 0.8. So the biggest increase was between February and March of an increase of 1.1 pence. So the biggest, uh, which between which two months was the, the price per litre increase most? February, March, and then you could uh, specify if you want. Uh, the increase was 1.1 per litre. Okay, 1.1 pence per litre. Okay, so you can sort of specify.